What you thinking about today, Bubba? Are you reading? We're watching some kind of show about cursed places. Are you scared? I'm a little worried, but more because of the snakes and the spiders that they're talking about that's in this town. You're not worried about that? Okay. Well, that's good. We're safe in our house, huh? It is a gloomy day. It's not raining yet, but it's gloomy. I'm glad that you guys went out and before the rain started. They do not like to go out in the rain. You guys are a little spoiled that way. <laughs> right? Are you going to go trick-or-treating? I don't think you're going to go this year. We have plans. Harrison wants to go out with his friends. The big, f we, we are now in high school, so like friends are the priority. Yeah, he's gonna leave us. And I'm gonna go and trick or treat with Rayla and Brayden. And dress up as a 90s cassette tape. It's gonna be pretty awesome. Yeah. And uh, Daddy's going to stay home with you guys and turn off the lights and hide. <laughs> because trick-or-treaters ringing the doorbell every five minutes is very stressful for you, isn't it? You're very concentrated on this TV show. That's the medic. <laughs> That's the medic. Yeah. And this is the abandoned town that they're going to go investigate. We had to put something spooky on. It's almost Halloween, right? Yeah. Oh. Mm -hmm. We did some painting yesterday. He tried to help me. It's more of when I sit down at my desk for like in my uh, drafting table for more than five minutes, he comes and he sits right next to me and wants me to pet him the whole time. Yeah, especially in the evenings because he wants me to go lay in the bed so that he can like lay right up next to me. Right? You're a little spoiled, buddy. Mm -hmm. That's okay though. This guy is going to be 10 in December. We were just at the vet and he's doing great. His energy is still really high. I wish, I wish he'd calm down a little bit. We talked a little bit about watching out for some arthritis. Oh, so many yawns this morning. A little bit of arthritis and uh, to kind of, as he's getting older, instead of doing more intense bursts of energy, doing like a short walk in the morning and a short walk in the afternoon kind of a thing breaking it up if that needs to happen but for now we're gonna keep doing what he loves which is that frisbee fetchings right and she was like we probably don't need to talk about um arthritis medication or anything like that for like four or five more years and I was like oh my god you don't think he's gonna slow down for another four or five years <laughs> Which is amazing and uh -huh. like, <laughs> yeah, kind of like, oh my gosh, when are you ever going to slow down, buddy? Even just a little bit. He still has got his puppy energy, basically. Yeah. It's okay. Thank you. You're such a sweet boy.
I love your eyes. They're so like, I don't know, comforting and relaxed. A little droopy at times. Now, you really are watching the TV this morning. It's one of those like screensavers now. We're like flying over a river. Yeah, that's what's up with us. We're done talking. We're done talking, I guess. Not a whole lot right now. Right, Bubba? Yeah. Yeah. Dakota wants in. Dakota wants in. Hi, sweet girl. Hi, sweet, sweet girl. Her eye is doing pretty good. Aren't ya? Yes, her eyes. Her eye is doing good. Uh, it's stable. And we're keeping up on the medications. Oh, okay. Pet me. Hi. I think we have a little jealousy this morning. Thank you. We have a little jealousy this morning. You're so pretty. You are. Thank you. She got a good bill of health, too. She's going to be five. She just turned five. Which is insane. The COVID times kind of warped our time with her. Isn't it amazing, though, how dogs come to you right when you need them? Like, we got her Thanksgiving of 2019, right before COVID hit. And right before my sister's cancer came back. And she could not have come into our life at a better time. Right? Right? You were very much needed to help get through the rough, the rough times. Yeah, dogs come to you. I believe that. They don't go shopping for dogs. Although I will say, the one dog I would shop for is a golden retriever. I would, I would, I would go to a breeder for a golden retriever. I'd pay some money for that. But for the most part, I let dogs come to me. It's a mutual choosing, right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we think, I was talking to the vet, that um, she is a smooth collie, either cattle dog or Australian shepherd mix. We're leaning towards Australian Shepherd because of the heterochromia and the, the ears, the floppy ears. Look at that pretty eye. You're so beautiful. Do you know that? I met the cutest six-month-old collie puppy in the store the other day. I, she hurt their mannerisms were like exactly the same. Super calm, loving, quiet, and cautious, but yeah, you listening? She heard a dog bark earlier, and at first I think she thought it was coming from upstairs, and she just about sprinted upstairs to go, you know, investigate, and then realized mid-stride, oh, no, that's coming from outside. I just thought I'd give an update on the puppy dogs. I hope you guys are ready for Halloween if you celebrate it and um, that you have a great time if uh, or harvest time or whatever you celebrate this time of year. Uh, if you celebrate something different, I'm so curious what you celebrate. Put it in the comments and let me know. Um, I think we fixate on the big ones and we forget that there's some amazing kinds of celebrations out there, so... Um, you guys have a blessed day and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.